The Battle of Cratopolis was a battle in the wars of the successors of Alexander the Great between General Antigonus Monocthalmus, and the remnants of the Perdiccan faction. It was fought near Cratopolis in Pisidia in 319 BC and resulted in another stunning Antigonid victory. Chapter 1 Background After the death of Alexander the Great in 323 BC, his generals immediately began squabbling over his huge empire. Soon the squabbling degenerated into open warfare, with each general attempting to claim a portion of Alexander's vast empire. One of the most talented successor generals was Antigonus Monophthalmus, so called because of an eye he lost in a siege. After the second partition of the empire, the partition of Triparadisus in 321 BC, Antipater, the new regent of the empire, made Antigonus strategus of Asia and charged him with hunting down, and defeating the remnants of the Perdiccan faction. Antigonus took command of the royal army and after being reinforced with more reliable troops from Antipater's European army, he marched against their enemies in Asia Minor. He first marched into Cappadocia against Eumenes whom he defeated at the Battle of Orcania. Eumenes escaped to the fortress of Nora where Antigonus invested him. Chapter 2 Prelude Leaving the siege of Nora to a subordinate Antigonus then marched against the remaining Perdicans who had gathered their forces in Pisidia near a town called Cratopolis. Alcitus, Atalos, Polemon and Docimos had gathered their forces in a pass near Cratopolis. Antigonus decided to use the element of surprise, and force-marched his army to Cratopolis in seven days. In this way Antigonus took his enemies by complete surprise, the first warning they had that Antigonus was nearby was the trumpeting of his elephants. Antigonus occupied a couple of hills overlooking Alcitus's position. Chapter 3 Rattle The Perdicans were caught totally unprepared, they faced an assault in front and along the pass, and in the flank from the hills overlooking the pass. Leaving Atalos and Docimos to draw up the phalanx, Alcitus took the cavalry and the peltists and attacked Antigonus's troops on the ridge, trying desperately to dislodge them. During the fight for the ridge Antigonus charged with 6,000 cavalry into the pass and caught Alcitus in the flank, at this Alcitus was forced back from the ridge and just barely made it back to the phalanx, with the loss of most of his men. Unfortunately for the Perdicans they did not have enough time to get their phalanx drawn up, and facing Antigonus's cavalry charge their men simply surrendered. Chapter 4, Aftermath Alcitus managed to escape with a guard of Pisidians, who were particularly loyal to him, and made his way to almost impregnable city of Termesos, his colleagues Atalos, Polemon and Aldogos were captured by Antigonus, along with the rest of the army, close to 16,000 foot and 900 horse. Antigonus could now claim to have destroyed the Perdiccan faction, but unfortunately for him Eumenes was not done causing trouble.